important is your grip? Which hand is, is where on your uh, game will grip? Rob reaches with his back hand. I'm here. Boom, I get my head pressure, head position here. The leg is back, so I gotta make it come to me. Boom, and here. I'm attacking that back hand. It's palm down, and my front hand is palm up. So everyone come where they can see. The reason it's like this is because what Rob most likely, well, <laughs> Rob's probably gonna leg lock. But what uh, a lot of people are gonna do is bring this leg to the outside and start attacking my wrist, attacking that grip. So if here, if Rob's kicking down into the lock and pulling on my wrist, he's pulling my hands together, tightening my grip. If my hands are this way, he's pushing down and breaking my grip apart, right? My if my attacking arm is palm down, my front hand is palm up, like he's pulling <laughs> into things, making it tighter. If I'm this way, when he pulls it, he breaks it apart. So it's real important that I have my back hand on the, on the, uh, on the top. Okay? Um, we're going to talk about what to do when they won't give you that leg. Right? So I take the Russian on Rob. Boom. I get my head position. And I try and make him step and he won't step with that back leg. I'm doing everything I can, but he won't do it. So a lot of people, judo people specifically, um, they're taught not to give you that leg. And so sometimes you're like, shit, how am I gonna get to the leg? Well, we don't have to get to the leg anytime. Um, we're not getting our first attack. Generally, our second attack is being set up. That's really the way all of this stuff works. When I go for my old school from half guard, and he posts, he's giving me my C-cup setup or my electric chair. Everything works in concert. This is a system, a systemic attack where I'm using one move, chaining it to the next to set things up. And at the highest level, guys are chaining probably five, six, seven attacks. Uh, back when I was being taught wrestling, they were saying at the, at the highest level, uh, guys are wrestling five moves ahead. That was 20 years ago. We're probably we probably evolved past that. Uh, but so I'm here, I got the Russian. Rob won't give me the leg. I'm trying to get him to step. He won't give me the leg. Instead, I'm gonna take a little step this way and spin so that that leg comes to me. Now here's the trickiest part of this whole thing. My elbows have been tightened to my body. This elbow has to come up, boom, and hit him in the ribs. My head is gonna stay where it's at. It's real important that I have head position on this one. If Rob has head position, this attack will not work. So I've got my head position. I've made him step, my left elbow comes high, my right hand releases to tap his far knee, and I'm exploding and driving into him here with that forearm shiver, knocking him back. I like to catch and secure the leg like this. One hand, the, the hand that taps the knee slides to the ankle, the top hand, Secures the foot, and then I like to slide into here. Let's type in position here. Okay, this is our leg drag. We've been covering dough now here. Okay. And I know some of, you, some of us are still having difficulty on that first one, but I want you guys to have two of them to have that gene. Here he reaches. I take my Russian. I try to get him to step, it won't work. Get head position, try to get him to step, it won't work. Little step, pivot. Any questions on this you want to see it?